Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional Video for September 4, 2016. The passage that we're reading today is in the book of Philippians, one of my favorite books in the Bible. Philippians, we're reading in chapter 2, we're reading verses 5 through 11. Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant, and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even in death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And the title for today's devotional is The Name Above All Names. In Bible times, naming a child was a major event for a Hebrew family. The household took great pains in selecting a name, sometimes choosing one that had personal meaning for the parents. An example of this is Leah. She chose to call her fourth child Judah, saying, this time I will praise the Lord. That's from Genesis 1 and 9, 35. Occasionally, a perceived or desired personality trait would determine what a baby is called. Genesis 25, 26 shows this to be the case with Jacob. Uh, he is known as the one who, one who sub, supplants. I'm not sure how to say that. S-U-P-P-L-A-N-T-S, supplants. Frequently, the name given at birth would symbolize to others who that person was. In the ancient world, this was intentional. Even today, people subconsciously associate character traits and experiences with names. We all hope that when others hear our name called, they will have good things come to mind rather than a sense of dread. Mary and Joseph had a far different experience than that of other Jewish parents. Instead of choosing the name, choosing the name themselves, an angel told them what their child would be called. That's from Matthew one twenty one. The Heavenly Father selected his son's earthly name to represent his purpose in coming. A day will come when the very mention of Jesus will cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess that he is Lord. That's Philippians 2.10. The Hebrew form of Jesus means salvation or he saves. Christ is called many things throughout, the, throughout scripture. I'm oh, sorry, I read it wrong. Blech. The Hebrew form of Jesus, of Jesus means salvation, or he saves. Christ is called many things throughout scripture. Lord, Emmanuel, Teacher, Messiah, and so on. But his given name tells his story. He came to save the world from sin. No wonder God gave him a name above all name. That is awesome. I hope these videos were help to you and blessing to you. I hope they encourage you in your walk with Christ. I hope that you take time every day to read God's Word instead of God's Word. There's so much good stuff in there. And um, I hope you'll be blessed by doing that. Um, I'll put all the usual information where you put it. I love you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow.